are coming back to story time again. I'm really kind of enjoying this, although I'd much rather have everyone in person because I sure like the hugs after stories. Anyway, today I'm reading one of the classic books, and I think that most of you know this story. It's definitely a story about love. I like stories about love. The book is called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? You'll make new friends and play with new toys. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. When you come to school, do you come at night or during the day? Seems like the raccoon goes to school at night. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of a secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, said Chester? What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tinkled with special warmth. Does your mom or your dad ever give you a kiss? Remember how good that feels? That's what Chester was feeling. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely, I need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. Look at how happy he is with it. Will it come off? That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand, too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper around a tree limb and enter the school. And as the owl, hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. Look at that classroom. Isn't that amazing? Got all those animals ready to learn. That's very cool. I love you. So when you come back to school, which will hopefully be incredibly soon because I miss all of you, you can make sure that you give your mom or your dad a kissing hand too. I wonder if you were to go wash your hands right now with soap and water and make sure you sing while you're doing it, could you go to mom or dad and ask them for a kissing hand? It might work. See you later. Bye.